Hey guys, what's going on? It's Shishui back with another video, or whatever you want to call it. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my setup, at least what I'm going to be using for the raids that are going to be coming out pretty soon, or at least that's what they say. You know, what they meme say, soon this, soon that, but really, is it ever going to come out? Guess we'll find out. Anyways, before we get on this video, I'm going to do my daily five spins. So let's get right into that. Now, if you don't know what those are, those are going to be something new that I'm going to be trying in these videos. And basically, what I'm going to be doing is purchasing five spins at the beginning of every single video to see if I can get any legendaries. Now, obviously, pretty low chances, but you never know. I'm also going to be doing giveaways whenever I do streams. So make sure you come out for those. Make sure you're liked and subscribed with notes on so you get notified when I do streams. And I'll give out some spins to some of the random viewers that join me in my lobbies. Now, obviously, it's not going to be a lot, but hey, some is better than none. I know some of y'all are desperate out there for some. So if you ever see me streaming, make sure to come out and say hello and try to get into my lobby as fast as you can because you never know. Maybe I'm giving out some. Now, before we get actually into the perks and the skills that I'll be using, let's get into what my streak is and how high I am. I'm at a 21,000k streak right now, and yeah, that is pretty high. But, you know, I've been grinding for quite some time, maybe a week and a half, maybe two. Now, obviously, by the time I had uh, Attack Serum, I was at 3,000 kills, and by the time I got Nightfall... You know, it only took me one or two days with Attack Titan. So, you know, having Attack Titan makes everything a lot easier. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But yeah, let's get straight into this. Now, let's talk about the Rhea skill. All right, the Rhea's family tree skills. First, you got to rise. Awakening bar gain increases 30% faster for every hill slash kill. Conqueror, mark all the Titans within an 800 meteor and immobilize them. From doing anything for 15 seconds now obviously you have cooldown streaks and you have cooldown on your artifacts this is going to be way lower i think you can get to around 30 seconds if you have them all set to cooldown and go down the cooldown path as well so you know that's just one of the things that's really good about it on top of the rise perk i have this perk here and i'm not going to try to announce it because honestly it's just really annoying to announce but basically i can shift it three times in a row in my weakening bar fill is 25.0% faster and basically on top of the 30% already it's 55 total so you know we're going to be going basically at half the rate of amount of kills that you're going to be needing so it's kind of overpowered that's that's the thing it's pretty overpowered when you really think about it next up we're going to talk about some of the other things I have uh yeah I got bandages on and I got bandages only uh to advanced magic right now I don't have this character all the way leveled up to uh, max prestige 3. I think I'm at 130 something at the moment. But obviously I'm going to continue down, go all the way to master medic at most, and get at least a healing percent of 50 per bandage and carry, carry 3 band-aids. Because that's one of the things you're going to be wanting. Uh, you know, obviously next up, what you're going to be wanting is lethal tempo. And, you know, Rising Slash is also pretty good. You could switch out Rising Slash and Bandages. You know, they're kind of interchangeable. Because obviously with Rising Slash, Lethal Tempo, you get those iframes. You can't really get hit. That's one of the good things about, you know, this this Jailbreak kind of uh, setup I got going on. Call it the Jailbreaker, whatever you want to call it. And obviously next up, we got things like Counter. Counter is pretty good. Uh, but if you want to take it another step farther, go with Hardy Counter. Because hard to counter is just way better. You can instantly kill a titan even if they grab you. And you know, it's just, it's too good to be honest. You know, it's cooldown of 32 seconds. And on top of all the other cooldowns, you can have it down to like 20 something seconds. So basically you're killing a titan for free every single 20 seconds. Even if you get grabbed. And that's one of the beauties about this. You know, obviously with the whole entire setup I got going here. Being able to stun them. Titan shift. Um, being able to do lethal tempo. Rising slash. All of those have iframes. You know, so basically you're not going to be getting hit when you're performing these moves. That's the thing, right? You know, I call it a, you know, it's your get out of jail free card, basically. You know, but like times five. And especially with something like um, the one perk I was talking about, that was you said that the three times in a match. You're basically not going to die because, you know, you can just go in at hiding form whenever you want. Because you're not going to be shifting four times in a match, really. You know, you can stay in it the entire match if you want. You can shift one time, get a big crowd together, kill them all, 
get out of the Titan form, fly over to another side of the map, shift again, and boom. Basically just rinse and repeat. And if you're about to die, you get hit, then shift, get all your HP back, you're all good. And even if you don't have shifting, you can use bandages, and bandages are also a viable way. Um, you know, obviously, think with Rias, Rias doesn't have shifted regen, so that's one of the that's one of the things about it. It doesn't have shifted regen. If it did, it'd probably be the best clan in uh, in the game, if we're being honest. <laughs> but yeah. Next up, we got commands. Commands. I don't personally have it unlocked, but it is a good. It is good. I don't really like it though. If you want to try command and use it, go ahead. But it's really, it's just taking up a slot to be honest. You know, I think I'm gonna, I'll get it when I have more, you know, skill points to get it. But as of right now, I think I'm gonna just keep going down the medic and defense slot because obviously I don't want to be dying here. For my memories, I have Quake Strike. Each kill increases damage by 1.5%. Resets after reloading. Now, obviously, I think this stacks when you're in Titan form. So you don't really have to worry about that. And if you get majority of your kills before you even transform, you know, obviously you don't have to reload. And you can just basically just go into Titan form with already the stacks of buffed or applied. Um, next up we've got flash step. Obviously, you know, you're not gonna be taking damage when you're going forward or you're doing a back step on them. So easiest way is just, you know, spam that as much as possible. <laughs> and I got cooldown blitz right now. Honestly, I think I'm gonna switch that. Um, but skill cooldown reduction is pretty good, especially if you're going down the skill cooldown route that I was mentioning before. But that's just me though. Next up for my artifacts, I got the crown. Skill cooldown reduction, you know, almost maxed out there. And Odium damage, almost maxed out. So this way, basically, one of our prestige, I'm one-shotting them no matter what. And in this one, I got health and skill cooldown reduction again. Once again, you know, basically, you want to be able to use those skills as much as possible, lethal tempo, hardy counter, anything like that. You want to be able to use them as much as possible so this way you can get out of any sticky situation. Pause. Any situation that you know you get into. So yeah. But anyway, now we're gonna get into the moment you guys all been waiting for. Actually doing some of the missions. So you know, I'll just show you guys a quick demonstration of you know how good it is on outskirts. So yeah, let's get going. I'll put on things like Nightmare, Injury Prone, and Fog, and uh, yeah, let's get straight into it.
anyway, as I was saying, I hope you guys did it in anyway, this little demonstration. You know, I hope that when the dates come out, hopefully sometime soon, you know, I'm gonna do a stream on them. As I was saying, they should come out for those. And they're gonna be quick, they're gonna be fun. I'm gonna try doing my best to carry some of y'all, those who need help carrying. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.